Got my part in my sand mold and the crucible with bronze or bronze splash of brass in it. It's uh, heating up the temperature. Taking a while for the brass to melt, but it's melting. successful pour. Um, we will see. I didn't have anything blow up and it looks all right. So I'll know for in a minute. And no, that's not the uh, fire department coming for me. It's solid enough to somewhat pry it out of here. And there's something a little bit more finer to get in there. The vents, they came out. Yeah. Uh, almost. I don't want to lose my Petra Bond. It's expensive stuff. Put up fire a little bit. There's no more styrofoam anymore. Let's see if I can just pick it up. Nice breeze with the dry weather. Perfect for fire. <laughs> there we go. It looks like it came out. All right. I'll show you guys what it looks like in a minute. My cooling sand here. <laughs> this is just play sand, but it's been left out. So it's got water in it. So. It's not like dunking it in water and shocking it. Um, that's how you can get things to kind of explode on you. It's cooling it down nice and slow. But looks good. I'm gonna grind it up and um, install it. I finished the top side while it was on, you know, all together, all molded together. I uh, cut one side, I'm gonna cut, cut it off now and work on the other small details. And I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to work it from the top down, I think, to thin it out. It doesn't need to be uh, 3 8 of an inch thick, so I just was doing that to make sure I had enough, and I got rid of all the butt off the block. Nice tang hole, ready to go. All right, let's well, guys, don't be a fool and um, clamp your stuff down whenever you're using a drill press, especially when you have a razor-sharp piece of uh, freshly cut bronze. I'm going to work on this later. But <laughs> that's as far as it'll go. I'm going to go uh, see if I don't need stitches. Pretty neat, huh? Oh, it's got blood on it. 